All right, we are now in the calculator section of the AP test. Thank God, because look at this problem right here. Not going to be fun, not going to be fun at all. The temperature in degrees Celsius in a city on a particular day is modeled by the function capital T defined by T of little t equals that where little t is measured in hours from 12 p.m. for these bounds, two is in between, or t is in between two and nine, including those. Uh, based on the model, how many hours did it take for the temperature to increase from zero degrees Celsius to five degrees Celsius? So this is basically what we do, okay? We, we care about the temperature being equal to zero, set that equal to that, and five as well. So the first thing that we would do is we would say T equals this awful, 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 awful guy right here. So numerator stuff, denominator stuff. Now when Z, zero equals that, the denominator doesn't matter because you multiply both sides by the denominator and you get zero equals the numerator. Uh, which is going to be 75t cubed minus 836t squared. I'm just rewriting the top, which is kind of a waste of time. But this is what's going to happen. You are allowed to use a calculator here. When you type this into a calculator, maybe you type in y equals into a calculator. And then the nice thing about this is we're given bound of two and nine. So it's not like you have to super worry about changing your calculator settings with all these big numbers. What's going to happen and what you're going to see if you were using like a standard science, not scientific, but a standard graphing calculator is you're basically going to see that line. Okay. Give or take, which means it's going to go through the X axis somewhere here. You use your calculator and you find out that that number right there is T equals 5.42. So what we can say is when the time or when the temperature is zero, all right, when the temperature is zero degrees Celsius, the time is 5.42, which basically means five o'clock and like 20 some minutes or whatever. Okay. Now we do the same thing with five. We type this guy into a calculator. All right, we type this guy into a calculator. You type out Y equals blah, 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 this whole terrible thing. It's awful. Okay, but what you're going to do is you're going to minus five. Why? Because the temperature, and let me, let me erase this picture so I have more space to do some stuff. Okay. The temperature we are now setting equal to five degrees Celsius. So big T is now five. That's going to equal this ugly, terrible fraction. In order to find out where the zeros are, we subtract five from both sides. And now we have ugly, terrible fraction minus five. So you graph that ugly, terrible fraction. You go to your graphing calculator. You see a picture that looks kind of like this. It curves a little bit and then it hits the y-axis, and we care about when y is zero, it hits the y-axis at t equals 7.701. So what that tells us is it's five degrees at the time 7.701, which is like, you know, 740-ish. Now all this stuff, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? Well, we care about how much time has passed? How many hours did it take to get from zero degrees to five degrees? In other words, how many hours is it from five something o'clock to seven something o'clock? Well, let's subtract 7.701 minus 5.42 is going to be, uh, I don't know why I put T, but uh, 2.281. Which is awfully close to that. So maybe there's a little bit of rounding error in the math that I did. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I'm not going to lose sleep over the fact that time is going to be different by 0 .001 hours, which is no time whatsoever. Okay? So ugly calculator problem is going to require some calculator knowledge. And that's what we did. That's what we did. That's what we did.